Here we are going to find a cubic polynomial, aka a third degree polynomial, and we want it to have integer coefficients, and we also want it to have zeros at negative 4 and 1 plus 2 i. Um, we don't have two zeros. Is that true though? Because for third degree polynomial, shouldn't we have three zeros and didn't mention any multiplicities? No. Whenever we have a complex zero, you see, this is 1 plus 2i. This implies 1 minus 2i, aka it's conjugate. You just change the sign in the middle. It was a plus, now it's a minus. And if you have a minus here, you have the plus. When you have this, it's conjugate is also a zero. Right? The zero comes in complex pair, especially when we have the polynomial in integer coefficients. Uh, you might be wondering how come the question didn't just give us this, this, and that all together. To be honest, I don't know. Maybe they just want to test us on this little thing. So that's that. And now let's just do the algebra. So we are going to just kind of work backwards because right now it says we have zeros with negative 4, right? So that means x equals negative 4 will satisfy the polynomial, right? And we'll make that equal to 0 technically. So 0 is x equals to negative 4. And the other one is x equals this, 1 plus 2i. And then one more, x equals that, 1 minus 2i. Mm. OK? Well, let me bring this to the other side. So we get x plus 4 equal to 0. And then we will bring this and that to the other side. So x minus 1 minus 2i equal to 0. And lastly, bring this to x minus 1 plus 2i equal to 0. And the reason that we did this is because this is a factor. So is this, so is that. So we have these three factors. And that will help us to generate the cubic polynomial. OK, so we are looking at our polynomial p of x to be this times that times that. So I'll write down x plus 4 times x minus 1 minus 2i, and then x minus 1 plus 2i. Whenever we are doing these kind of questions, I will highly recommend you guys to multiply the terms with complex numbers first, because you don't really want to have the complex number going over too many times. Just multiply them, and you'll see that they will disappear, the complex numbers. And the best way to multiply this and that when we have 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 3 terms by 3 terms is to do the following. And usually people call this the box methods, or the tic-tac-toe method, because you just draw the tic-tac-toe boxes. x minus 1 minus 2i, put it on the top. x minus 1 minus 2i. If you put it on the side, it's OK too, doesn't matter. Now we put this on the side, the water doesn't matter for that though. But x minus 1 plus 2i, because we're multiplying. All right, let's just go ahead and get going. Filling this box, we do x times x. So that's x squared. And continue, take x times that. That's negative x. This times that is negative 2ix. Continue, negative 1 times x is negative x. This times that is 1. This times that is positive 2i. Continue, 2i times x, 2ix. This times that, negative 2ix. No, negative 2i, there's no x, this times that. And finally, 2 times negative 2 is negative 4, and i times i is i squared. So that's what we have. And now let's combine terms. Here, we have x squared, so I'll put that down. And then we see that these two are the same thing, right? So we can combine them, minus 2x. And um, look. Minus 2ix cancel out with that positive 2ix. 2i, negative 2i, they cancel out each other as well. So no more complex numbers. But wait, how about this thing? This is not a complex number. Because i squared is negative 1. So this right here, we can write it as, let me just put this down right here, is negative 4 times negative 1. So in fact, this little box here is positive 4, right? So this is positive 4. So if you add 1 and 4 together, 
we get 5. Okay. 1 plus 4 together, and the 4 is from this box, we get 5. Alright, now we can just come back here and uh, let's put down x plus 4 at the front. And just multiply it out to have the standard form. So, x times this is x to the third, this times that, minus 2x squared, and then plus 5x. Continue. This times that, plus 4x squared, minus 8x, lastly plus 20. I promise, this is the last step. Compile items. First, we have x to the third power, then, negative 2x squared plus 4x squared, we get plus 2x squared. And then, plus 5x minus 8x is minus 3x. And that's the plus 20. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is a pretty long question. Yeah, but I'll just box this for our answer. Our p of x is equal to that. Yep, this is it. Well done. You can do it too though, if you practice. Trust me. I trust you.